Jubilant critics saying hit the road, Jack, as Dr. Shimon Warrenker packed up his belongings to begin a board-imposed 60-day suspension. The move comes days after the new superintendent published an open letter criticizing the current board majority for derailing educational improvements. But in an emergency session, he was berated by board and community members, shouted down as a racist. It is so disrespectful to the people that are paying your salary every month. And you will continue to say that. No, no. At the end of the day, you got to show some respect. And they shoved the superintendent down our community's throat. They knew he didn't have experience to do what he was doing. He's been a really polarizing factor. Unfortunately, within several weeks of him coming to the district, he proved himself to be divisive. The vote to ban Warren Kerr from all school facilities and place him on paid leave came close to midnight. Is placed on administrative LOA with pay. The board did not provide a reason, but critics have faulted him for spending funds on master teachers and consulting. They claim the district doesn't need. The former city educator who's turned around violent schools was brought in by a previous board to reform the chronically struggling district. Warren Kerr says he'll fight in court to continue his work on behalf of the children. It halts everything that we've been doing to try to make things better for our children. Well, my reaction is, who's here for the kids? To let go of a superintendent uh, seven months into his tenure, right, um, in the middle of the school year, um, requires a drastic reason. Um, and quite frankly, uh, there is no such drastic reason. The district has had a revolving door of administrators for years, and just days ago, a state-appointed monitor issued a scathing report blaming problems on this district on failed leadership for years. So who is at the helm now? The board last night issued a directive that the assistant superintendent should be in charge for now while they now investigate Warren Kerr. Reporting live in Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.